this sign that was a constant reminder for the past 30 plus years of how us lowriders were not accepted, were not welcomed. The journey here was not an easy one. Marisa Rosales is the vice mayor of the United Lowrider Coalition and says the taking down of this sign means peace of mind for lowriders after decades of being banned. Trinity Garcia is a United Lowrider Coalition Youth Council member. I have been a part of the UOC with my mother, brother, Diaz and Theo since day one. So I have witnessed the struggles, the letdowns, the disappointments, the tears, the doors closing our face, the constant no's, always being knocked down numerous times, but us getting right back up on our feet to re-strategize our next plan. Times have changed. <laughs> While individual lowriders were always allowed to cruise, now large groups of lowriders known as caravans can legally cruise after getting a temporary use permit from the city. Brother and sister Victor and Melinda Ayala were born into low riding. I grew up around this environment. Uh, this is a big deal for my dad, and I want to keep the tradition going with my family. It, it, it means everything to me. I'm actually building my own car right now. This is my dad's car. It's 59 Impala convertible. I'm building a 1960 Impala convertible. I will be out real soon, and me and him and the rest of my family will be cruising. Low riding can now be recognized as being a part of the community's cultural heritage. and celebrated as individual pieces of art. This is for you and the future generations of lowriders. And in true lowrider fashion, keep it family oriented and let's cruise. Yeah!